Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. As opposed to most of the week, we actually have a couple things highlighted on your first alert. The chance for rain and storms does work in toward the tail end of our time frame here from 9 o'clock or so and beyond tomorrow morning. We'll talk about that potential coming up. Air quality could also decrease a little bit as we head toward the afternoon and evening today as ozone levels potentially build up once again. We've seen that this week, so if you haven't noticed it, then it's probably not going to be an issue for you. Mount Vernon City Cam shows mostly clear skies at this point. Expect some of those puffy cumulus clouds to perhaps dot the sky over the next couple of hours, just like we saw yesterday. Temperatures in the 80s with 83 in Cedar Rapids and Mount Vernon. Winds are light on the north between about at most 5 to 10. We'll keep those scattered clouds around this afternoon, but as we lose the daytime heating as we go toward tonight, that's when things will turn mostly clear again. So expecting things to stay quiet during the nighttime hours. Now tomorrow morning may be a slightly different situation. By daybreak, we start to see at least the edge of clouds and some showers and storms moving in from the west. These will track east of I-35 by about mid-morning, approaching our western counties by about 8 or 9. That's as southerly winds develop across the area. They will try to pull in some moisture, but probably not in time for that first round of storms. That one's going to have a little trouble making it too far into the state, likely weakening as it does, but I can't totally rule out an isolated shower or storm to remain as it tries to push through. The better chance for storms arrives as we go toward later in the day. Scattered clouds are possible, but enough sun will heat us up. That builds up some instability, and by the afternoon, scattered showers and storms develop, and they will have the potential to be strong to severe. Additional development is possible as we head through the afternoon and evening from about 4 o'clock onward until maybe as late as 2 a.m. in the morning as we start to finally push these out of the area. The focus for additional development starts to move on, but even a few scattered storms remain possible later in the night. Now, in terms of severe weather risk, the area outlined here in yellow is the area where slight risk for severe weather exists. Large hail, damaging winds, and even a couple tornadoes are possible tomorrow, so we do have the full gauntlet there. But I think the highest risk will be for the hail and then eventually damaging winds later in the evening. That's where the threat will increase. In fact, our western counties perhaps slightly favored for the hail risk where they could see some larger hailstones out of this, especially large ones. Otherwise, uh, the tornado risk you see there, the darker orange a little bit to the west there too. Rainfall totals will be decent with this. Hopefully, we've got our fingers crossed for at least half an inch of rain for the area where storms take place. And of course, with thunderstorms, if you get one or two in a row, that can lead to some pretty decent rainfall totals locally as well. An inch plus is possible for those. Temperatures today will get into the upper east low 90s, very similar to the last couple of days, so expect a very similar feel underneath mostly sunny skies. We will see still warm conditions tomorrow. Now, if we do get stuck with clouds and rain in the morning, we may not quite make it to the low 90s, but it's still expected to be warm and eventually a little bit muggy. Expected to be a little bit breezy too as we head towards Sunday and Monday. That's when winds will pick up behind this storm system and bring in that somewhat cooler and drier air. Now, as we're working that cooler air in on Sunday, some isolated showers or even a thunderstorm are mm -hmm. possible. And then later in the week, there's occasional chances that are at this point slim okay. for some more showers and storms. But really want you to pay attention tomorrow, especially yes. between about four and beyond. So if you have okay. evening plans, there's stuff going on. Yes. You got to have a way to get weather information uh, multiple ways, preferably. One of them is KCRG TV9 First Alert weather app. Don't just rely on your phone to necessarily buzz uh, automatically without it. So we just recommend that as well as keep it here on TV9. We'll keep you informed. Yeah, I say you'll keep us informed and be aware. We need the rain. We hope we don't get the severe weather, but we'll watch it. For sure. And we'll have the latest uh, information tonight with meteorologist Jan Reinhardt, tomorrow morning with meteorologist Hannah Messier. We're on it. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Corey.